We begin with weapons in schools. The NYPD reporting a stunning and terrifying surge in the number of guns, knives, and other weapons being confiscated by school safety agents. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer found you may be surprised about who is bringing those guns in. It was a little over three weeks ago that Mayor Adams shut his eyes and took a deep breath after looking at a picture I handed him of weapons and other gear in a backpack brought to Manhattan's Intermediate School 70 by a 14-year-old. These are real weapons that could be used on teachers, staff, administrators, and most importantly, our children. Well, Mr. Mayor, it's even worse than you thought, because apparently New York City students are involved in an arms race. The number of weapons confiscated so far this year has surged a startling 80 percent. 3,315 weapons have been recovered in city schools from July 1st to February 20th, compared to 1,845 during the same period in the 2019-2020 pre-pandemic year. The picture looks even worse when you look at the types of weapons students are bringing to class. Only one gun was recovered pre-pandemic. 14 guns have been recovered so far this year. Tasers increased from 47 to 325, a 561 percent jump. Knives increased from 1,134 to 1,420, up 25 percent. The good kids are bringing weapons to school to protect themselves from the gang members. The gang members are bringing the weapons to school because there's no penalty. Gregory Floyd, the head of the school safety union, says the legislature has to reform its so-called raise the age legislation so that students under the age of 18 bringing weapons into school face criminal penalties. That's why we have an 80% increase. Before you had laws in place, children knew they couldn't bring guns to school, so therefore they didn't bring guns to school because they knew they would be arrested. Now you don't have that over their heads and now the children are just going wild. The surge coming as the new budget proposed last week by Mayor Adams called for not filling some 560 vacant school safety positions. You would think that given the fact that they're collecting these weapons, you would want to increase the number or at least bring it up to what it was pre-pandemic. Chancellor Banks is looking at that. Remember, that was a preliminary budget. If we see the need uh, to make modifications, we're open to doing that. The mayor also talked about being smarter in detecting weapons. The city and embarked on a pilot program at Jacoby Hospital today that uses new electromagnetic technology to see if someone has a gun or knife. The mayor says if it works, it could be installed in schools. In the newsroom, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. And there are now about 3,600 school safety agents down from about 5,000 pre-pandemic.